Hello everyone, my name is Wanda and I'm with the Alpha Park Library. Welcome to Mini Melodies, our story time aimed at kids ages 3 to 6. So today's story time is all about manners, which is a really important character trait to have. So as always, take out your lesson plans and follow along. We're going to start with make new friends. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle's round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Okay, let's go again. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle's round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Okay, so our next song is called Before I Eat. That's the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It, Clap Your Hands. Okay, so here we go. Before I eat my meals, I wash my hands. Scrub, scrub. Before I eat my meals, I wash my hands. Scrub, scrub. It's very smart, I think, to wash those germs right down the sink. Before I eat my meals, I wash my hands. Scrub, scrub. Before I eat my meals, I wash my hands. Scrub, scrub. Before I eat my meals, I wash my hands. Scrub, scrub. It's very smart, I think, to wash those germs right down the sink. Before I eat my meals, I wash my hands. Scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub. Okay, so our first book is called Perfectly Polite Penguins. Not. Penguins are always Perfectly polite. Penguins always wait their turn. After you, you first, I insist. I love buses, me first. They love sharing their toys. May I please play with the kite now? Of course. Would you like a turn on the skateboard? How kind. May I please have the train? But it's my train. And they never forget to say please and thank you. Pass the fish, please. I want all the fish. Don't talk with your mouth full, Polly. Oh no, someone's misbehaving again. Wonder who it is. This is Polly. Say hello, Polly. Hee <laughs> hee. Polly prefers not to be polite. She says it's boring. Shh, be quiet, Polly. We're trying to listen to the story. Sometimes Polly interrupts. Would you like to? I'm hungry. Sometimes she forgets to think about how the other penguins might feel. Why is your beak so big? Oh, I made her cry. And she really doesn't like picking up her toys. All together we dance and sing. It's time to clean up everything. I love the cleanup song. Not cleaning up again. At dinner time, Polly's manners go from bad to worse especially when the penguins have fishy snacks. Uh-oh. It's not polite to throw food. Ow! Actually, that looks like fun. Fishy snack attack! The perfectly polite penguins don't like it when Polly talks with her mouth full. Yum, yum, yum. Or when she doesn't use her knife and fork. We can use our hands. Yum, yum, yum. Tee. And when she grabs the fishy snacks without asking, hang on a minute. I want it. No, me first. Yay, more fish. Oh, look, now all the penguins are misbehaving. Oh, except for the little one. What happened to all the perfectly polite penguins? Mine. Give it to me. Watch out. Ow. Polly, this is your fault. I want to play cars. No, I want to play polar bears. Wow. Penguins can be very noisy. Mine, la 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 la, I want the train. Where's baby Peter? Vroom. Oh, where's Polly going? Peter, are you in there? Oh dear, poor baby Peter. Doesn't look very happy, does he? Too noisy. Luckily, Polly knows just how to make Peter feel better. 
Don't worry, Peter, I have an idea. Better cover your ears. I think this is gonna be loud. Stop! We've upset baby Peter. I think we all need to start being polite again. You're right, Polly. I'm sorry, Peter. I'm sorry, Polly. Well, that did the trick. Good job, Polly. Perfectly polite penguins always clean up their toys together. Can I help you with this? Thank you so much. They always share nicely. Would you like to play with the train? Yes, please. And they always think about how other penguins are feeling. I love your new hat. Thank you. Even Polly the penguin is perfectly polite. Well, most of the time. Fishy snack attack. Where did that come from? Tee. Okay, so next we're gonna do a poem called Manners. So make sure that you follow along. We say thank you. We say please. We don't interrupt or tease. We don't argue. We don't fuss. We listen when folks talk to us. We share our toys and take our turn. Good manners aren't that hard to learn. See, even Polly in the book figured it out. Okay, let's go again. We say thank you. We say please. We don't interrupt or tease. We don't argue. We don't fuss. We listen when folks talk to us. We share our toys and take our turn. Good manners aren't that hard to learn. Okay, this ties in with our craft this week, which is a placemat, and it shows what order their fork, knife, spoon, and plate should go. Fork, plate, knife, and spoon. So then you can help set the table. It's a good thing to do to help out around the house, huh? Okay, so our next book is called Rules of the Wild, an Unruly Book of Manners. If your mom had a tail, or your father a mane, the rules of your house might not be such a pain. Rules, eat whatever you'd like, stay up all night, spitting, splash each other, make loud noises, burping out loud. See, they erased all the don'ts and don't do that. Mother Piggy would say, eat whatever you like. Father Fruit Bat, would declare, you can stay up all night. Mother Dolphin would nod, splashing is fine. Father Lion exclaimed, that roar sounds divine. Roar! If your mom was cold-blooded, your dad tended to drool, could you mind all your manners? Would you follow the rules? Mother Snake wouldn't scold. Don't leave clothes on the floor. Father Camel wouldn't huff. Please don't spit anymore. Mother Groundhog would say, sure, go play in the dirt. Father Elephant declare, on your mark, get set, squirt. If your parents are four-legged or had wings, tails, or tusks, would you know all the mustn'ts? Would you know all the musts? Roar! Mother cow wouldn't urge, chew with your mouth closed, my dear. Burp. Father walrus wouldn't fuss, we don't burp around here. Mother grizzly would yawn, sure, sleep all winter long. Father Raccoon would say, fine, dunking food isn't wrong. But if your father wears clothing and your mother does too, you know how to behave. You know just what to do. Don't you? And then there's a little chart here that asks what you're allowed to do. Are you allowed to eat whatever you want? Well, yes to all of them, but the humans. Stay up all night. No. Spit. No. Splash each other. No. Make loud noises. No. Bathe in the dirt. No. Chew with your mouth open. No. Burp out loud. No. Dunk food in your drink. No. If your parents were animals, I bet you could do all those things. You can't. 
manners are really important. They make you happy too. Think about it. If you stay up all night every night, you would be so tired, wouldn't you? Okay, so our last song is a reprise of Before I Eat. Just happy and you know it. So this one is, Before I eat my meals, I set my place. Like with the placemat. Before I eat my meals, I set my place, set, set. Before I eat my meals, I set my place, set, set. I set everything I need. I feel very proud indeed. Before I eat my meals, I set my place, set, set. Before I eat my meals, I set my place, set, set. Before I eat my meals, I set my place, set, set. I set everything I need. I feel very proud indeed. Before I eat my meals, I set my place, set, set. Thank you so much for joining me for the story time, and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.